today I have with me the band Halfweight. Yo, 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 yo. Thank you very much for agreeing to do this. No worries, man. We very pleasure. much appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. No yeah. problem. Um, well, to kick off, uh, the first question I wanted to ask uh, tonight was what has the band been up to lately? Right, so we released we released a little bit of uh, recording our first yeah, full length album. Mm -hmm. Dave the album, so we yeah, recorded with um, Chris Blanketto and Dave Petrovic, Ludwig Sun. And so um, eleven track one. And yeah, we smashed that. And it's really cool because yeah. it's kinda like a departure from the old stuff. So the first EP was more like pop punk kind of stuff. Yeah. And then the second one, the boys found their groove with kind of like a post grunge kind of vibe and now we're kind of mixed. I yeah, a mixed hour of grunge band. Like the EP was, um, it was stripped back a bit, but um, this one's got a lot of, a lot more like enthusiasm in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. What day in June is it? Eight, sorry, no, eight for June. So June, yeah. Friday, the eight for June, yeah. So is it a Friday? Um, yeah. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, let's just say no, <laughs> no, I think I think it comes out at twelve o'clock at night. But, but you'll get it in the morning. Because it's through like the, yeah. the American so It's through well, so. Tunecore. That one called so like so Distribute yeah. through there and it goes into iTunes, um, Spotify. But it may not go on all the other ones straight yeah. on the exact date. But mainly iTunes and Spotify is, is relative. Well, Montage Rock will put out our stuff the same day as well. I wanted to build on that. Uh, I thought it was good how you got the Montage of Rock, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rock, yeah. I know you briefly explained it, but. um. Like, do you, is it just as simple as contact the person there? Or yeah, we just emailed him. Okay. That's oh, we got it's actually yeah, um, nice. Oscar from No Resolve, Ben in America. He really liked our stuff. And I hit him up about it. I said, like, how do we get a montage on that? He goes, oh, put in a good word. So he put he in a good word. We're like, man, this guy from America, like an American band, <laughs> hooking us up with the goods and like, <laughs> and one good song. Yeah, even though we got, like, free yeah. montage rock, which is awesome. Um, We've not done a lot of doors, man. Yeah. Like, we've got turned back from a lot of people. Like, this, so it's not just like we just got let in. Like, we've been knocked back heaps, man. Yeah. Like, it's heaps of record labels are like, because they think about it from a business perspective or whatnot. And we're just we thinking just, about yeah. trying to get it out to a, a wider amount of people. And we ended up so in one car. And yeah, we were stoked to be on there. And, yeah. Do you have any upcoming tours planned this year? But yeah, so at this stage they were looking at doing a national tour. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, is that the question? <laughs> <laughs> so at this stage we're trying to do a tour. Uh, we're all we're going to some places around June, July. If we're hoping to go. Yeah. Um, all through June. All through yeah, June. Yeah, all through June. Parts of July. Through. Everywhere we can. Like yeah. I said, ride a passage, get in a shitty little van, just drive. What led to like the break from 2012 to 14? 14. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. Well, that meant me. It was like a, a lot of a few <laughs> things, but one main thing was like when our friends passed away. Oh, okay, he was like a close mate. Um, he, he, he was like really good friends. They were sort of best mates. Yeah. So I knew him. Yeah. We both yeah, knew him since we were six years old. He passed away um, in 2012. Oh, so yeah, dedicated to him. And yeah, that's what King of the West is yeah. about. We were dedicated to yeah. him. And yeah, I just went on like at the time, man. Like I was going for a lot of sh stuff, like internally yeah, try to deal with stuff and with my ex-girlfriend and whatnot yeah. and to combine everything together like so we, had, we had a, a little bit of an argument but then kind of just just stopped it there and stopped, that was it. you know what Sorry. I mean because like we we're all feeling the pressure of like what happened man it was just a shock of a fucking uh, yeah. but then when we came back because he's always backed that music when he was alive we came back with like a like a Urge, like what's the word? Uh, it's like urge to get urge to get to get, to get it done. Push, you know what I mean? Because he would always be like that. He would be like, do it, do it, yeah. do it. You know what I mean? And be 100 percent confident. So, in memory of him, that's what we're pushing. Just yeah, that's, it. that's what the whole EP is sort of dedicated to. We rewind the clock a bit back to your beginnings of the band. Like, who yep. were your influences? Like, I know you state some online, but yep. who inspired you? Well, yeah. me, look, I started off listening to Nirvana because my brother listened to him, and that's how he said he was in the house, obviously, because he was a big fan. And I got into like Tupac and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't start playing guitar until I was around 12, 13, but I took the influences from Nirvana and Offspring and whatnot from my youth into it. So, yeah. 
I was probably about the same. I think with like I was into corn, a lot of new metal at the start. Yep. And then got into offspring, found offspring and then Blink and all those other bands. Yep. So mine like mine's a wide range I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I go different kind of way from the boys. So I just tend to listen to like I started off listening to punk as well, like offspring and stuff like that. But then I grew up on like classic rock like Zeppelin, Sabbath, Deep Purple and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Where we're heading. Do you have any funny stories besides the ones you told me but some other good stories or crazy nights or and extreme that, stuff there was that one time I rocked up to practice waiting for these guys and they walked and they rocked up and I was like stripped it was just like in my basement oh, yeah. <laughs> there's actually a picture on his screen because I was like what the hell I was like man where are your clothes <laughs> bring them <laughs> yeah. clothes as fuck it's 2018 uh, who's why are you guys judging <laughs> <laughs> No judging. No, it's What else happened? Antoine. Oh, the goat. There's, there's, oh, no, uh, fucking uh, Antoine. The first time I met your mum. The first time I met your mum with the keys. I'm oh, that was funny. Like, I lost my keys, man. I'm like, in the studio. And I'm like, still trying everywhere, man. For like two hours, this, this guy's mum rocked up and I'm just freezing. I'm like, man, we're on keys. My keys. And just, and he's like, oh, man, this is my mum. This is my mum. I'm like, oh, man, I can't, I can't be acting like that. So I went in the room. I started to jump around like a little kid. I'm like, man, where is it? I can't find the keys. Yeah. So they bro, I was telling the whole pack. my jeans, bro. Man. I was telling the whole pack. I'm there. like, bro, if they're not there, or they're not there, they're not there, they're not there, they're there. You there. Tell me I'm like, they're on you, bro. And he's like, <laughs> oh, it's not, man. It's not on me. I'm like, hey, look, bro. Hey, look. Do you have uh, any advice you could give to other bands since you guys have quite a decent following? Mm-hmm. Um, just stay humble. Stick at it. Stay as humble as possible. Just stick um, in for it. It's not. Don't be greedy. It Definitely. doesn't. It doesn't hurt someone to help someone else. That's right. Like we found, like a lot of bands have this. Like a lot of the newer bands, I should say, have this thing where like we won't help you because then that might damage us. Yeah. 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 But that's it's silly fine. because it's not. I mean, first of all, it's not good for all of us. But yeah. the other thing as well is like, like especially like you know we you know we remember when people have helped us. If someone does us, yeah. and then if we if we cracked a big tomorrow, we'd help out all the guys that helped sure. us. So we'd be like come yeah. to with us, and you know. There's no like a piece of pie, you know what I mean? There's no like I'm taking this chunk, and that's mine. <laughs> But yeah, and, I mean, everyone has a piece, man. Yeah, and everyone think, grows together. I still think. And, yeah. and I, it's such it's such a cliche, but I think it's worth remembering that like skill can only get you so far. You know, like yeah, like you can be like you can be a guitar virtuoso. You can be the guy that plays that nice four chords his entire life. But if you keep working at it and you persevere, and you believe in what you do and keep like pushing it. You know, yeah. like, at the end of the day, it's it's perseverance that gets you further than rock talent. Yeah, and so like, there's a lot of people that are better than us. And just solid relationships. Really. <laughs> and like, like, you know, yeah, like, like, um, and it all becomes from humbleness too. Like, yeah, yeah. If you're humble just, band, like you just you go well, far, man. We look, <clears throat> for instance, like they stay together. the younger bands <laughs> coming up, like the hardest thing would be sticking together and like stylistically writing songs. But you got to work out a way, like, to understand where everyone's coming yeah. from and yeah. understand the band. That's what it's easy. There's nothing wrong with a bit of action. And then, you, yeah. the day. and then when you go to like shows, it's about showing respect to the people that are playing that yeah. show that you're on with. Oh, yeah, that's it. Initially, it's you're on a bill really with them. And then after it, you watch every band. And yeah, stay and watch every band. Build your relationships. And, and you hear some people say like, like they don't have to support you, but it's just a courtesy thing. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's courtesy to, to support the band that yeah. you're there and you just stick playing to, for. You know and I mean? it doesn't happen overnight. That's another thing. Like, it, every day things change. Like, things are on a daily basis. So like, you hit a goal and you look back and you're like, all right, I've got there. <laughs> then you yeah. hit another goal and you look back and you're like, oh, I've got there. And then you got a foundation of stuff you've already done. Like, we've got three music videos. I can't remember doing them. <laughs> You know, you know what I mean, but like you do stuff without even realizing it, and you look back and you're like, it's like I'll achieve something. I'll achieve something. Yeah, to end it off, do you guys have anything else that you wish to say? And to we, want to, we want to thank everyone that's listened to us, you know, yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone around the world. Yeah. To us. Cheers, guys. Right. <laughs>